in this, in this example, I want to add um, LLL, the abbreviation for Lubbock Lake Landmark, to this um, 3D model before printing. So we have our information on the 3D model. So I have exported this model and I've also created the LLL within Tinkercad and exported that, the, that model out. Now I want to join those together. I'm going to use a program called Autodesk Mesh Mixer for combining the two before 3D printing. So I'm going to open up Mesh Mixer, go to import, and I'm going to first import the, the brand 3D model. And to navigate the model, you can right click to orbit. You can also hit this little box to move around. Now I'm going to import the abbreviation text. So file import. And I want to pin, meaning I want to modify this current 3D model. And now it's asking me where it wants to position the text, and I want to put it next to the model. So I'm going to say yes, rather than it putting it in a random location. Okay, so here's the LLL. Um, to modify it, you um, select it within the object browser. And if you happen to lose the object browser window, you go back up to here, view, and show objects browser, and here's where it's located at. So I have the um, layer that I'm going to modify highlighted. You go to Edit, Transform, and rotating around, now we can scale it. And to scale, you hit the, the boxes. And depending upon um, what direction, you scale it by hitting those little boxes. And to move the layer, you hit the arrows. And to rotate, you hit little curved icon. So first we need to, and I want to lay it somewhere over in this flat surface, so I'm going to scale it first and get it. I want it pretty small, so I don't want it to be too, too obvious on the model. You really have to rotate around a lot to see where it's um, positioned at. Here. And depending upon how you rotate, then the different angle tools work differently. So that's getting closer. I need to make it a little bit smaller still. Okay, it looks like that'll fit pretty well. Looks like I need to wanted to get it as flat as it can, that I can get it so that it's a good impression within here and I'm going to adjust the angle to try to level it out a little bit. So that looks pretty pretty good. Okay. So it's not straight on this with the edges so I'm going to move it that way a little bit. Try to center it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It's pretty deep right now, so I'm going to change the scale up a little bit on the vertical. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. Now I want to see how it embeds in there. So it looks, looks pretty level. Of course, the surface of the model is not completely flat. Um, but I think that works 
pretty good. I'm going to move it just a hair this way to a little bit flatter section. a little bit flatter. Yeah, it looks like. So you can tell when you, as you move it into the model, if it all appears about the same time. So that's pretty, pretty close. Maybe this angle a little bit more. Okay, so I think that is pretty straight and that looks fairly good in relationship to the edges. Okay, so and then just double checking the depth. Yeah, I think that that will will work. Okay. So I have it in position now and I hit accept, so I'm done transforming the letters. Okay, now first you got to click on the layer you want to modify as a target layer. So I'm going to select the model. Then you um, shift click the second layer. And it brings up this dialog box and you hit Boolean difference because we're wanting to subtract the difference between the two models. And since I select the first one first, it's going to subtract the second file from the first, which would create our hollow the letters. You can also intersect the two files or join them together and combine them. There's a lot of cool options here. But we're going to hit the difference tool. Okay, and for some reason to get this to, to work properly, you got to uncheck the auto reduce result. Then hit accept. Now we have hollowed out le um, letters in our 3D model.